Happy birthday to me. Yes, 24 years ago, I was born today. And what the fuck you're looking at right now? We're gonna play Listen to Only Me talk about things I like. I think it's gonna be a nice chat. And yeah, let's get started. My favorite anime. Of course, anime is a lot of things, by the way. And it's impossible to choose one thing. So yeah, this is by the way a reoccurring theme in every single topic. So yeah, there's gonna be multiple favorites. And in case of anime, the number one, the undisputed, is going to be none other than the GOAT, Gintama. Yes, Gintama is forever my number one anime. Despite saying there are multiple favorites, it has everything you need. It has comedy, it has drama, it has action it has everything and in every aspect it excels really damn hard there is another reason but we will get to that in a moment my second favorite anime is one a lot of you probably maybe heard of but more of you didn't even check it out probably because of the art style and that is kaiji kaiji is goated the Lord. It is the one and single anime that has zero plot armor. The main character could lose at any moment and you can never expect it. It's an anime about a dude who gambles and yup, that's like about it. <laughs> he gambles and he could win, he could lose. Like the probability is insane and the manga is like mm, so fucking good. I just wish Madhouse made season 3 already. Like come on, what the fuck Madhouse. My third favorite anime which will be probably a big surprise to maybe everyone here and that is... Free. Wait, don't close the video. <laughs> yes, the free series is like one I am extremely fond of. The art style from the GOAT. The best art style in all of anime. In all of fiction, in my opinion. Kyoto Animation. They just know how to tell a story. Kyoto Animation is just way too good. The shows they handle are always goated. Free, Kaon, Chunibyo, Dragon Maid, just name it, it's just always goated. However, Free is, well, a bit special, and we will get to that in a moment, just like Gintama. Anyway, anime is done. Fights, anime fights. Luckily, there is only one fight that I see as the best fight in all of anime and fiction, and that is the one and only Pain versus Naruto. I just love how the Ninetales basically just takes over and makes some of the best fighting sequences against Pain. The animation just shows how tanky Pain is. Like, you know how when maybe One Piece, you look at Kaido and you're like, Yep, that boy is tanky, just from looks. But Naruto made something, yeah, it was fucking amazing. Like, I felt like Pain was even more tanky than Kaido, to be honest. Which, may, may, maybe that's the case, by the way. Uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, yeah. The things the Ninetales did to Pain was a violation. It was madness. The way how they used the ocean, the sea. And the fight was so fucking beautiful. And yeah, the ending, perfect, amazing. Now to character. My favorite character is, well, remember when I said there's something about Gintama? Yup, my favorite character is the one and only Sakata Gintoki. He's just him. The funniest character, the most badass character, the one I aspire to be, regardless if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> He's a complete vibe and you just have to dig it. However, I think there's something I'm missing. Hmm, something about my model, my avatar. It screams that there's something wrong about that character bracket being water empty. Yup, that's because there's my second favorite character. And you could say my favorite female character, Landry Scarlet. Yes. If you're not familiar with this character, she's from a game I think was in 2006 called Toho. I'm pretty sure you know about Toho from all the, yeah, you know, those kind of art 
and that website. But no, I knew about this character since 2011 while watching the music video Bad Apple. I looked at the silhouette of the character and thought that the wings were the coolest fucking shit ever. Like, that... W this is peak character design. Soon, the creator of Toho cooked so hard when he made this design. And by the way, I know that Zun also had a lot of inspiration for, uh, of the designs from a certain manga, but that's besides the point. I'm talking about this character. The wings are so fucking cool. And yep, that's it for characters. My favorite opening. Hmm. For opening, there are two openings that I'm very, very fond of. The first one is the fourth opening of Ansatsu Kyoshitsu or Assassination Classroom called Bye Bye Yesterday. This song is really fucking good. <laughs> of course, it, uh, it really heavily depends on what was happening in this story at that point. So yeah, if you just go and watch it without watching the show itself you're probably not gonna get the same feels this opening really gives you you need to watch the show to get the full experience and when it comes to the second opening that's uh, a very uh, you don't need to watch the anime but i really recommend you to watch the anime the opening is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang from Paripikome yes this anime is basically a I think his name was Jugal Young, something like that, from Three Kingdoms. He goes to the future and starts making this one girl really popular and like making music and stuff. Using his strategies from back then, like the Three Kingdoms back then. And it's just so good. And the opening is just a banger. It's there is no fucking way you can just listen to it and not dance it's just so fucking good and i know i know it's uh, it's based on an actual song and that song is also a banger by the way but this is just like a variation of it that i am really really fond of i really like it when it comes to endings there's only one ending that currently comes to mind I'm pretty sure there are a lot of endings I love, but this one is one that every single time I hear it, I remember like 2017. A time where I was so deep into this franchise, and it was a really good and nostalgic time. And that is Recall the End. In Danganronpa 3 Future Arc. I know that anime is not very well liked in the franchise, but I think it has its highs and lows. And it was mainly fan service for Danganronpa fans. But uh, throw all that aside, this opening is just fire. Complete fire. Fire. In terms of music video, you're not gonna see much. This like, y you see this pink dude? That's probably all you'll see. He'll just like, sit down. But yeah, don't mind the video. The music is so damn amazing. And yep, play Danganronpa. It's great. And by the way, I am making the Danganronpa fan game. Don't forget that. Once I complete enough, I will release a trailer. So yeah. My favorite games. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. In terms of games, there are lots of games I like, but there are only three games that I only speak positively of. And that's what I'm gonna use as criteria to decide what my favorite games are. Because I do like Destiny 2, but holy shit, there is a lot to complain about that game. And I also love Palworld. Though lately I have been playing it more as a content creator than a player, meaning I'm utilizing all the mods in order to bring content fast. So yeah, it stopped feeling <laughs> like a normal game at least just for me that's like that was my decision <laughs> but i love the game so much like both pal world and destiny 2 i love them so much there's also patterns but yeah that's broken so fucking bad but yeah in terms of actual games that whenever you say its name i get a massive smile on my face the first one and the one probably sitting on the throne of being my favorite game is crash to insanity oh my god. I remember this game since since my memory could ever remember anything. This is my complete raw childhood right here. 
even the desperate times of taking that copy ps2 disc and slamming it inside the ps2 just to get an error instead of the game running and then just praying for the game to work i remember that so fondly like at the time i was scared but now that i remember those times holy fucking shit the game itself is actually really damn entertaining even if you play it like nowadays the only problem is that it was rushed and yeah it is really buggy there is a lot of cut content that didn't make it into the final game which was gonna be absolutely banger and yep this is my favorite game of all time however the next two games i'm gonna announce them together because they're from the same developer you could say that developer is my favorite developer of all time and those games are tower of guns and mother gunship in terms of gameplay these two games are my favorite games of all time the gameplay is just so damn satisfying building your weaponry by the way these are like first person shooter roguelike games and the roguelike aspect is insane especially in mother gunship in mother gunship you can build like any weapon you want any weapon you can create a new weapon now no one has created before because it's basically like piecing lego together you create the shape of your weapon you craft it you build every skill it has you decide which barrels it has maybe lasers maybe fucking beams maybe rail guns death machines sentry guns or it could be like fucking saw like a chainsaw however tower of guns i think excels in absurdity yes tower of guns like it has fully randomized rooms even mother gunship but mother gunship is more balanced tower of guns is insane take the twin sanity from crash twin sanity and just slam 10 of it in tower of guns because some rooms are impossible to complete in a ridiculous way that to me is actually just funny <laughs> the bosses are way better in uh, tower of guns than in mother gunship however in mother gunship i have not completed the whole game yet i'm still preserving it for like a future series where i complete the whole game on this channel so yeah tower of guns i have completed it and i have full footage like of the completion with commentary by the way first try along with the secret final boss still sitting in my hard drive that i forgot to release on the channel it's like from 2021 or something something like that i release it one day but i don't know anyway songs there are mainly two songs i am very nostalgic about which by the way there's nothing easier than nostalgia baiting me into something so yeah these two songs are complete nostalgia bait and i regret nothing about it the first one is probably my favorite song of all time which i'm sure all of you should know unless you're like a toddler this song is dragosta dente or as we know it the numa numa song i first heard about the song in a really really old sonic Flash animation it was sonic and shadow dancing to the song and yeah this is just a banger you you cannot not dance to it like it's so fucking good i love how i literally started dancing now while talking about the song because it's just so good the second song is probably a surprise to every single one watching this this song is sleeping sun by nightwish this song is so fucking good it is really really old once you hear it you're gonna know that's fucking old i knew about it in 2009 i think my laptop had like built in flash games and one of the games was called ragdoll master and god the moment you click start this song starts and you never wanna die because you don't want this to end 
you want to hear more. It's so fucking good. Anyway, movie. And you're going to be so surprised to know that no recent movies are included. I don't think recent movies are any better than these two old movies. And I think many of you will agree with me. The first one is probably my favorite of all time, which is... Well, kind of a meme, but not really, because it's actually really... It's actually a masterpiece. This is Shrek 2. Yes, the first sequel of Shrek is my favorite movie of all time. It is a perfect sequel. All the jokes land. The drama is just so fucking good. The entertainment factor is like through the roof. There's a reason people love this movie and there's a reason people call it a masterpiece. There is a reason people say this is the perfect sequel. This is how sequels should be. And of course my favorite moment, which probably I should have added in the songs, is when holding out for a hero starts playing. Bro, bro, there is no movie that gave me this much hype ever. I'm watching Shrek and I'm getting the best hype fest that lasts for a decent chunk of time by the way this is such a good story sequence by the way and yeah when it comes to my second movie it's a classic everyone should love this movie i have never met anyone who didn't love this movie other than people who did not even watch it and that is the lion king bobby and bowie bobby and bowie bobby and bowie from start to finish perfect perfect and by the way, I'm one of the people who doesn't really mind the second movie of The Lion King. Not the live action, I'm talking about Lion King 2. Yes, that exists by the way, I know a lot of people don't know about that. And it has like one of my favorite songs of all time. The one, I think it's called He Lives In You or something like, something like that. He Lives In You, He Lives In Me. That song was supposed to be in Lion King 1, but it didn't make it, so they gave it to Lion King 2 right in the beginning and yeah and yeah it's really damn great memes what memes do we have my favorite meme is probably one that i even made a vtuber about it is the one and only whoop the whoop yes uh, i was a toddler okay looking at my mother's pc in her work she used to bring me to her work and i used to watch youtube there that was like 2006 maybe seven and yeah i used to watch flash animations and stuff and crazy stickman was one of them and crazy stickman used a lot of shoop the whoop i'm a fire on my laser and yeah it's just uh, it's pure nostalgia it has nothing to do with how good the meme actually is i know it originated from dragon ball like uh cell second form but yeah my second favorite meme which is probably like my favorite meme without like inserting any nostalgia to it because i know me and my friends pop the fuck off on this meme and you'll realize why this meme is do you know the way yes uganda knuckles even to this day I still greet my friends using hello my brother. This meme was in 2016. It has been 8 years and I still am fond of it as fuck. And it's for a reason. I mean, this meme back in 2016, it destroyed VR chat. Uganda knuckles were everywhere, literally everywhere in VR chat and in outside VR chat. I didn't play VRChat by the way. I did not have a decent PC at the time to play VRChat. I used to use my 8 years old HP laptop at that time. Now it's of course much older, but yeah, that was all I had. And this this is a great meme. This is really really good. It it uh, brought people together to achieve something and that is to know the way my queen. YouTuber, my favorite YouTuber. I hope no one attacks me for this. I know there's certain drama currently about that YouTuber and yeah, uh, let me just say it. My favorite YouTuber is Moist Critical, Charlie, Penguin Z Zero, Penguins Zero, Big Moist, uh, 
what other names does he have? Yes, the one and only Homeless Jesus. He's my favorite YouTuber. And I know I kind of fucked up. I didn't add favorite streamer. And I'm gonna just say it. My favorite streamer is Asmongold. And by a mile. And yeah, when it comes to YouTuber also, uh, Charlie is not my only favorite. They are also a guru which you might already know who I'm talking about. The group is the Sidemen. Yes, I love every video they make, every Sidemen Sundays, every... It is so damn entertaining. The videos are really long. Their videos are perfect for eating d dinner, breakfast, something like that. They're always entertaining. I never get bored of them. And they upload a lot. There's like the shorter videos, there are like side plus stuff. There's always sidemen at all times. And yeah, I really love every single one of them. Sport, finally. In sport, uh, there's only one sport that comes to mind. And let me go back right to the very beginning when I said that there's a reason I liked free the anime yes my favorite sport is swimming yes it's just so refreshing it sets my mind at ease like not competitive swimming by the way i'm talking just like swimming in general it's always nice to see a huge amount of water and just like haruka from free i want to get an every single bit of that water maybe not as extreme as him he literally tried to get in a cup that motherfucker is wild <laughs> bro tried to swim in a teacup that's <laughs> that's insane i'm not talking that wild I, i'm not on that level yet that mackerel eating motherfucker but yeah i really love swimming uh, it just feels really great while being so fucking beneficial to your health and yeah this is like my list and yeah lastly you have well me you can take a, a cool screenshot of this i don't know why you would do that like it benefits you uh, none at all but yeah you can take a screenshot of this before i come to you like this and tell you to get the fuck out